After an almost decade-long private and public battle with Collingwood Football Club, Heretia Lumumba says he's closing the final chapter. As far as I'm concerned, I think Collingwood Football Club will always remain a club that is associated with racism. The Do Better report released early last year found the AFL club guilty of systemic racism, but Lumumba says it's not just former staff who are complicit. What I have seen is a continuation of their misconduct, a con continuation of dishonesty and also a continuation of damage control. The retired player has pointed the finger at current board members and the Pies lawyers. Looking to push out an image that is not based in the reality of the way that they are conducting themselves behind closed doors. He's defended releasing audio of conversations with former coach Nathan Buckley. Because you become a little bit of a rogue. Including this exchange after he condemned then President Eddie Maguire for saying Adam Good should be used to promote King Kong the musical. He threw him under the bus. He threw him under the bus. I, I didn't throw him out. And we, don't, we can't go through that again. Nathan Buckley didn't want to comment today, but has called on Lumumba to release the full audio recordings and insisted the club went above and beyond in providing him support. I stopped taking orders from Nathan Buckley a very long time ago. So I will share my truth as I see fit. Lumumba says he spent 15 months working with the club on racism issues raised in the Do Better report, but cut contact when he felt a First Nations elder was disrespected by Pye's lawyers. Collingwood, though, says a recent review found it's made significant and genuine progress. I think that it's moving definitely in the right direction, but it's going to take a long time to heal what's taken place in the past. We're really working hard to have a diverse environment within their four walls and you know, anyone that comes in right now, we just want to make sure that, that people feel that way. It's too little, too late for Lumumba, who says he's done dealing with the club's racism issues and will instead be focusing on his young family. Annie Kearney, ABC News, Melbourne.